माननीय सदस्य अल्फ्रेंड आर्थर जी मैडम चेयरवुमन थैंक यू for giving me this opportunity to participate in the discussion on the budget 2024-25 <clears throat> i am from manipur outer my state has been in all the news for all the wrong reasons for the past 15 months i have gone through the budget that the honorable finance minister has placed before this august house i think she fails to understand that in this present juncture Manipur is the lowest per capita income bearing state and the highest inflation how do you expect a state that is lowest in income and paying highest prices to survive you already have a conflict you've had the worst floods in the last 35 years unprecedented floods that we have ever seen in the last 35 years and the honorable finance minister she grins from ear to ear she smiles and she places a budget that is anti people madam you don't need rocket science to understand dynamics of what is people friendly and that goes against the interests of a nation i am from a family that has sacrificed in building this nation my esteemed friends from arunachal they have they are fortunate enough that my grand uncle a mr major bob relling now cutting for which this nation today celebrates a place called tawang in arunachal pradesh he is the gentleman responsible for our nation celebrating that area today he is my real grand uncle the name that i have today was given by him today you are burning my state i don't think when he went and proceeded ahead doing service to this nation way back in the 50s did he ever think that this nation would let go of his own people which he so fondly called as his people and his nation madam chairperson sunne mein to bahut acha hai pradhan mantri ji bolte rehta hai aur sab bolta hai bhajpa mein jahan modi ji hai sab mukin hai aur sab ho sakta hai jahan jahan modi ji hai sab dilayenge nyay dilayenge kaha hai manipur ka nyay आज कहा है हम पूछना चाहते हैं मेरा अपना प्रधानमंत्री जी है मेरा परिवार मेरा रिश्तेदार ये देश बनाने में अपना खून भाया है हम देश गद्दार नहीं है वी आर नॉट बी थ्रेयर टू दिस नेशन वी हैव हेल्प बिल्ड दिस नेशन वी डिजर्व एन इक्वल बजट इट इज माई राइट मेरा हक है मेरा जो इलेक्ट्रेट है उनने विश्वास का साथ जो हमको यहां भेजा है आज नॉट टू कम एंड लिसन टू भाषण ना इज इट टू कम एंड लिसन टू ऑल फिक्टिशियस फिगर्स दैट इज ब्रॉट बिफोर दिस ऑगस्ट हाउस दिस नेशन मैडम स्पीकर आई हैव ब्रॉट अप टू बिलीव इज बिगर देन इंडिविजुअल्स दिस नेशन आई हैव बिलीव आई हैव ग्रोन प्लेड विथ वंडर अराउंड विथ स्टडीड विथ with wonderful friends across different races different religions different communities and yet i have never felt in my life a need for saying that i am a christian today i don't ever want to ever speak out that i am christian or i am hindu or i am muslim i should not have had a need to today why am i having this fear and this need to express my desires of wanting to be a free indian within this nation's rules and laws <laughs> madam chairwoman you are a mother i look up to you i appreciate you you have been sent here by your electorate to represent wills desires wishes and especially to uphold the ideals of this nation madam chairwoman what has happened in my state of manipur in the last 15 months this is no joke since the coming of the nda government in 2014 every single day or week has not got by when we have not seen a union minister in manipur every single week we would see a union minister where are they today after the 3rd of may 2023 yeah. 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 
डेज के बाद एक मंत्री देखा नहीं मणिपुर में क्यों मैडम चेयरवुमन अपना प्रधानमंत्री जी से हम पूछना चाहता है मेरा दिल कहता है सच आदमी है प्रधानमंत्री जी सच करना चाहता है दिल में खुलासा है तगड़ा वाला प्रधानमंत्री है हमको समझ में आता है छप्पन इंच कहीं नहीं लेकिन उसको समझदार है कि अपना देशवासी हो अपना नागरिक लोग मणिपुर में अभी खाना पीना तक भी नहीं मिल रहा है रेफ्यूजी कैम्प में पंद्रह महीना किसको पुकारो किसको बोलो अपना मुख्यमंत्री से आप पूछ लीजिए वो एक खुद दिन भर दिन उसका मुंह से जो शब्द निकालता है सिर्फ मारने का पीटने का क्या है ये ये मेरा देश है क्या मेरा परिवार ये देश देखने के लिए थोड़ी सा थोड़ी ना सेक्रीफाइस किया है मैडम एक एक शब्द एक एक सेकंड जो मेरा परिवार ने इस देश बनाने में जो कुर्बान किया है मेरा हक बनता है आज की मेरे को न्याय दिलाइए नीति साफ कीजिए नीयत साफ कीजिए प्रधानमंत्री और गृह मंत्री जी साफ सुधर करके मणिपुर आइए आपका देशवासी है हम लोग सब हम लोग सब भारतीय नागरिक हैं आप क्यों उन्हें आना चाहते हैं हमारे पास आपका मन की बात दस साल सुनते आया है टेन ईयर्स वे हैव लिसन कैन यू नॉट इवन हियर द क्राइज ऑफ द वेमेन एंड द चिल्ड्रेन हु कैन नॉट गो बैक टू देर होम्स इन वन स्टेट A small state, thirty lakh population here, madam. Thirty lakh ka hi hai population mera Pradesh. Valley ka jo two thousand square kilometer hai, wahan par jo majority mitik rehta hai. Southern side they cannot go beyond Moirang. From the south eastern side they cannot go beyond Palel. Eastern side beyond Yangpokpi. On the northern side they cannot go beyond Kangla Tombi, madam. 15 months my people have worn this conflict you can at least listen to me for 15 minutes without pressing the buzzer madam please i would be grateful i think we have earned yes. that much of time at least 15 months i am from the naga community in manipur we have stayed neutral to this conflict in letter and in spirit we have not taken sides with anybody thinking that being neutral we would one day usher in peace On the 8th of August 2024 our honorable LOP came to Manipur. I am extremely grateful to the honorable LOP for coming to Manipur three times and all the members of the India Alliance Akhilesh ji of the Samajwadi Party then we have Mamata ji of the Trinamool Congress then we have Stalin ji from the DMK Then Udav Ji from the Shiv Sena, Sharad Pawar Ji from the original NCP, and all the alliance partners of the UPA on the India Alliance. I am so grateful that they have kept alive the Manipur issue in this August House, telling the people of our nation that Manipur should come first, Madam. Two more minutes, Madam. When the LOP came to Manipur. We were given an audience with the honorable governor at 5 p.m. on the 8th. I was also part of that delegation. We gave suggestions and I gave two clear suggestions on how to bring peace to Manipur. I think it has not been acted upon because Manipur you have thought, you have taken it as not part of this nation. That day I had very clearly said the Nagas are not part of this conflict. We are neutral to this issue. We had requested the Rajapal to take the help of the naga leaders the naga community leaders and send them out to the kuki as well as to the mete areas to usher in peace to start with that that day we had given that suggestion secondly it was very clear in our suggestion we had said the person who is spreading this one community is saying that the chief minister has originated this entire conflict you can at least madam you have another 40 my nine more members in your Kitty in the state, other than the chief minister, the honourable prime minister, I'm sure, can replace him immediately with no questions asked. My question is, Madam, 
Is it so difficult to replace one man and bring peace to our area? Ab jab itna sa chota Pradesh mein kuch shanti aur niyai nahi dila sakta hai, itna bara Pradesh mein ab kya karenge? Complete kariye, madam. Isko vishwas karenge, madam. This is why, madam, this budget that Nirmala, Nirmala Sitaraman ji has placed before us. She has talked about tourism in the rest of the country. She has mentioned nothing about tourism going to the Northeast. If you see, madam, if you go to any prestigious or any hospitality sector in the rest of the country, you will see youngsters from the Northeast everywhere. It is all our youngsters, jobless in, in the Northeast. Had, you know, tourism been encouraged in the Northeast, in the budget there is not a single mention. I would like for the Honorable Finance Minister to add the Northeast in a tourism map and include that they will encourage and bring forth tourism to such an extent that our people do not have to look to the rest of the country for our survival. So end with Madam, thank you very much for giving me time to speak today and I'm grateful to this nation.